Hello, and welcome back to more Beyond Earth News. I'm Zach, and with me is David, who's going to give us a bit of an idea about today's video. So today's video is about a Russian satellite that broke up in low Earth orbit. We're also going to look into some of the potential causes for why that might have happened. All right, sounds interesting. Let's get into it. On June 26th, Leo Labs, a company dedicated to monitoring space debris, announced on social media that there was an occurrence that had generated debris in low Earth orbit. The post also indicated that a Russian satellite called Reser's P1 was the reason. Reser's P1, a 6,000 kilogram or 13,230 pound Earth observation satellite that was launched in 2013 to a sun-synchronous orbit of about 475 kilometers or 295 miles. It was decommissioned in late 2021, and its orbit has been decaying ever since, with an expected atmospheric reentry occurring later this year. At the time its breakup was detected, it had lowered to about 355 kilometers, or 220 miles. U.S. Space Command said on the 27th that they were tracking more than 100 pieces from the breakup. That same day, Leo Labs said they were tracking at least 180 pieces, and indicated that that number could increase. The breakup resulted in NASA initiating safe haven procedures aboard the ISS, with astronauts seeking shelter in their respective spacecraft. The astronauts remained in their spacecraft for about an hour before NASA gave them the all clear to return to their regular duties. So what caused the satellite to break up? At the time of filming, Roscosmos has not yet made a public statement. Several possible scenarios have been looked at. The most likely is that the satellite was not properly passivated at the time of its decommissioning. Passivation is the process of removing internal energy that is stored inside of a satellite during its decommissioning process. Actions such as draining batteries and venting fuel tanks can help prevent breakups. The lack of passivation is thought to be one of the main causes of early Russian and American satellites breaking up. A second scenario is the satellite was struck by untracked debris. There are currently some 27,000 pieces of debris over 4 inches in size currently being tracked. It is thought that there could be millions of pieces of untracked debris too small to be detected by current technology. One of these small pieces could have impacted the satellite, causing more debris to be generated. One nightmare scenario for the space industry is something called the Kessler effect. This is where orbit becomes too inundated with debris, causing a cascade of debris generating events. This would cause Earth's orbit to become too hazardous for human activity. Finally, the least likely scenario is that Russia may have targeted the satellite with an anti-satellite weapon. Several nations have done this previously. Russia has already done so back in 2021 in an event that created over 1,800 pieces of debris. However, Russia didn't restrict airspace over any of its launch sites, and the American military didn't indicate that they had tracked any launch. Leo Labs has said they expect the debris to be hazardous for weeks up to months. Then the debris will fall back to Earth and be burnt up in the atmosphere. There you have it. A Russian satellite broke apart and caused a minor delay in some activities on the ISS. This sort of event thankfully does not happen as often as it could. And at least in this case, it didn't end up being more damaging. Um, there weren't any other impacts, any um, secondary impacts or debris causing events. And I'm very glad to hear that the ISS was not hit as well. That could have certainly been quite disastrous. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, uh, debris in space is becoming a major issue. It um, is. uh, so it's really not great when more is added. Um, in this case, we have what seems to be either um, just not paying attention to that issue with the uh, not properly decommissioning the satellite, or the result of that debris causing a further issue with a possible you know, untracked impact. Mm. Um, luckily, we do have companies that are you know, helping us to mitigate and watch this. You know, with Leo Labs and North Star uh, monitoring the orbital space and developing technology to help us uh, find and detect more debris, or you have companies like uh, Astroscale, ClearSpace, who are developing their own little spacecraft to go up into orbit and help us kind of start cleaning up that debris, getting rid of it. Um, but as always, we would like to hear your thoughts. Please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, as always, please like and subscribe for more Beyond Earth News. Thanks for watching.